Omega Power Ministries OPM Worldwide, a faith-based organization, has been in the vanguard of winning souls for Christ. The church, having successfully transformed these repentant militants to better citizens, decided to put them in the line of farming for mass food production. According to the General Overseer of OPM, Apostle Chibu Zachinyiri, the farmland and farm seedlings were given to them for free and that during the time of harvest, the proceeds will be their own profits. Apostle Chinyere, who noted that farming was in addition to the various skills they have acquired, such as driving, scaffolding, painting, carpentry, and fashion and design, among others, stressed that successful farmers will be encouraged by the church to go into mechanized farming. By the grace of God, I'm Apostle Chibuza Gift Chinyere. I'm the general vice of Omega Power Ministries worldwide. If you look at what is going on right now, you can see that most food stuff come from the north and uh, with this border blockage food are not coming that's okay by the grace of god we have some repentant militants repentant armed brothers repentant kidnappers repentant uh, 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 pirates that god provided money through the offering tithe. i bought an estate and i'm we are rehabilitating them they come to the church they renounce they surrender their gun and their munition which I hand over to the Nigerian police, then I start their rehabilitation, integrating them. Some of them are pastors. These are boys, they were living inside the forest. They only come out to come and operate and go back to the forest. These are boys that they are dreaded in their community. Only the mention of their name in their community, people run away. But now look at them. They have been tamed, they are nice, they are now born again. They study the word of God. We've got us, they've been baptized. They can preach many of them. I'm John Winston Amoy Karabana. Feel very good. Feel very great. It is a good thing to baptize with the Lord. This signifies that you have died and resurrected with the Lord Jesus Christ. Most things I have done in the past have gone out of me. The things that were after me from today, they are no more. Because I have died and resurrected with the Lord. And I'm very happy today giving my life to Christ. Because each time when I think back at the nonsense that I've done in the past, it makes me feel bad. But because Christ in me today, I'm very happy. Okay, my past life, I was once a court leader, a point one elder and general secretary of David Confraternity in Kana I was once a killer, a murderer, all such of life was in me. There is nothing a man could do that I have not done in my life. But today I'm here being baptized because I have renounced it. I don't want to do it again. And I will not advise anybody that is close to me to involve in criminal or courts or anything that will tarnish their image because there is no benefit in serving courts. How many courts people can gather in, the, in an open ground like this without being scared? They cannot gather because they know what they are doing is bad. Nobody will compromise with them. That's why all the evil gathering always be in secret place. Look at the things of God. Look at how everything is going smoothly because we are working for God. Yes, I'm very happy today because today is a wonderful day that God has set aside for me to be born again. And I have resurrected for Lord Jesus Christ today, so I'm very happy. I'm from Ogoni. I'm, I'm a native of prayer community. By the grace of God, I'm a pastor student in Omega Prayer Ministry. I'm very happy because um yesterday i was a courtist and i have done a lot of things which god did not like i have killed i'm a kidnappers i have initiated a lot of men and women into secret courts in my communities they know me as the general number one i was a point one yesterday in secret court also the general number three in Oguni, as the general number three man in Oguni in the bank of fraternity. But by the grace of God today, I'm born again. And for all that we are dying, the Lord have done, I'm grateful. And I see the same God who have given the powers to do that, the powers to be less privileged, the powers to sponsor me in my Bible school, I see may God Almighty reward him. My advice to my friends and for the youth, 
is that if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, you better do that before it will be late. And I'm advising everybody to stay far from secret court, stay far from kidnappings, stay far from armed stay far from lying and deceiving people, stay far from things of the world so that you will be safe. Because a lot of my friends, they died in it. And by the grace of God, I'm very happy that I didn't die in it. Even on the mission ground, I have lost different people on mission ground, which we went out together to operate, but they did not return again. But I'm very happy that I'm alive to tell the less privileged that they should be wise and stay far from the devil. For in Jesus' name. Currently, we have about more than eight of them that are now full time pastors and are running branches. They're no longer into kidnapping, they're no longer militancy. They're doing very well. We have some too, we have gotten jobs over uh, outside the country, we have gone. Then we have some, like this was now that we are, we are on training on different fields like carpentry, scaffolding, pipeline welding, and um, driving school, different, different trades they are learning. So it's okay, because we feed them, when we are rehabilitating them, we feed them twice a day, morning and evening. And with the blockage coming in right now, food, you know, uh, uh, who knows how long this is going to last, it's okay. Let us let them start this family. So each of them, we are positioned, giving them one, one plus of flowers. They can, they can um, start a, a, a family. Then I brought in a professional, number one farmer in Abia State, to come and train these boys on different family. Because very soon, you see, we need to be self-sufficient. We need to produce what we eat. Instead of waiting for food stuff to come in from the North Folk eat, to produce what we eat. While they are undergoing their training, this farm is allocated to them. They will generate what they will eat while they are still going through the training. We have the ones for the male militants. Also, we have the ones for repentant prostitutes. The ones who pay from the street, those girls. You can see the, the boys, they are all farming, they are doing it with their wife and their children. Victoria Ikechuku from Abia State, Obingwa local government area, 15 years old. I have no helper, but true daddy, I have helper now. That came October 21st, we were in the, I were in the free hospital that they take care of me. So after that they take care of me, that they told them to take me to state CID for statements. After the statement, and I was taken to the estate, I feed well and I clothe well. I lack nothing. Because of the cholera virus, that is said that for us to stay at home is not the better way. So that we can come and work in the farm and, and something can come out of the farm. We can sell it and help ourselves. So that's where we are here. You can see that all of us are farming just to bring up something. So daddy has tried a lot for us. He's a divine helper to me and to my family. So we say, Daddy, thank you for all you have done for us. What you have done for I and my family and my baby. Daddy provides everything for my child. Even napkin, clothes. She don't lack clothes. She has a lot of clothes. The one that I'm not sizing her is to give it out. Provide cream, soap. We feed three times a day. They clothe us. And at least we have anything we want, they provide for us. We don't like anything in the estate. So I am very happy. I want to say, Daddy, thank you for all you have done for me. May God bless you. It's Anita Monday. Anita Monday? Yes. Okay. I've been, I've been there for a hotel, so a man took me to his house. After me, we stand there like two years. I got pregnant, then he sent me a hat. I don't know where to stay. And I don't have anywhere to stay. I go to the forest and stay with my pregnancy. So there's one man I used to beg money in the afternoon. When I come out there, I beg the man money. So the man is OPM member. He now told me that I should come to OPM headquarters. It's only that place they will help me. There's no other place that they will help me. So one Sunday, one Saturday, the man gave me money, transport, then I come to OPM. I sleep there, even the food that I was eat, I beg for the food. So, after on Sunday, I went to the hotel and announced that I'm a prostitute. Then, that he take me to Este. After they take me to Este, then they went to that place, that forest, and pick my bag to the Este. So, since that time, my pregnancy was four months and 
since then is daddy that take care of me, even hospital, the, everything, so clothes, pants, bra, everything wear is daddy, even my baby, even my baby clothes, my baby cream, even food, everything is daddy that take care of us since that time. I know it's happiness. Man, to take me to one house girl like that. Oh my, we don't need that girl. So I said, I'm going to stay with them. It's the woman's son, come give me belly. As I go to the woman, say, now your son, give me belly. You can say, no, be your son, give me the belly. Come, they flog me. Can you say something like nothing? You tell me, and then come out. You're going to beat me. Say, no, be your son. I don't go to the belly for us. Man, to come take me. And my auntie can get me go. We are my auntie can go stay with me. We can't get anywhere to stay. May God bless me. For everything he has done for me and my, my child. Because I don't know what I feel. I don't even know what will happen to this baby. But now I don't know where she is for dinner. Yes, I thank God. I just thank God. Thank God for him. For making me to be in this place. Jesus in action, Dr. Jesus in action, God.